guys today i'm going to review a starskin hutch episode and this one's called satan's witches we'll have to find out who they are we've gone too far to let anyone stop the ritual now ah! starskin hutch satan's witches was broadcast the 1st of may 1981 it's from season 3 episode 17 and it has a more horror theme to this story involving witchcraft it was directed by nicholas scarrow written by william blaine and bob barbash and this is one of two episodes where both huggy bear and captain doby don't appear the other episode was called murder ward satan's witches runs 47 minutes it stars Paul Michael Glazer as Detective Dave Starsky and David Soule as Detective Ken Hutchinson. So in this episode, it's a little bit different from the usual storylines. Starsky and Hutch have a weekend trip in Captain Doby's cabin. However, it turns sinister for Starsky and Hutch when they discover a cult across the lake that are doing witchcraft. And straight away I was surprised with the, the theme music being a little bit different. It was good, but I prefer the theme music from the earlier episodes. So this is a horror theme storyline involving witchcraft. It's a little bit similar like the episode from season two called The Vampire. So them two episodes are kind of like two twins. And it also reminds me of a film called Race with the Devil from 1975. That involved witchcraft and getting chased by this cult. It, it's a good example of how the, the show got a bit more humorous as it went on. So like the first two seasons it was almost nearly always like gritty storylines with a little bit of humour. Whereas from season three and four they went a little bit more for the humorous storylines. And in this story, they, they are the, almost at the most campus, almost like a gay couple living in a cabin in the middle of nowhere and getting, like, seen by, the, by this cult. This is some weird place you brought us to. <coughs> I'm beginning to think so myself. Could we please get out of here? Would you please let me go? Hi! Hi! <laughs> Yeah, hell, there is camp as bloody hell, Starsky and Hutch, in this bloody episode. That and soft as bloody shit in it. <laughs> Do you know, I haven't done this since I was in the army, at a camp concert. <laughs> Starsky's especially, um, almost feminine. Especially when he's wearing these red, um, I don't know what you'd call it, kind of like a, a, a pyjama outfit. I like the contrast between the two ladies as well. Hutch, he's, he's serious, he, he's wanting to enjoy outdoor trip, and his task is wanting to go into a city. So when they first go into this small town where they're on the holiday, they, they get really frosty reception off the townsfolk. How about uh, premium? You asking me or telling me? Well, that depends on how you take it. Yeah, hell, the right bloody frosty buggers in this story. Hey, Phil, they remind me of them buggers that used to live in that village you used to live in. No bones, they're not as bad as them in this story. They were worse where I lived. <laughs> I love the scene where the sheriff telling them to go away and he's almost going to put them in prison. Cut shows them his badge, shows that he's um, a detective and it shuts them up that. I thought that was a, a great scene, that. Right. Law says you got to have something to hold us on. Right now you got nothing. What are you, some kind of backroom lawyer? Well, as a matter of fact, we're a couple of front room cops, Hutchinson and Starsky. Now look, we got a four day vacation out here, and all we ask is to be left alone. See any problem in that? Also, although like Starsky's a bit humorous and he gets a bit nervous at times when he's uh, confronted by these townsfolk. He turns professional and serious and he's like tough. So I, I like the contrast between how he can switch to professional mode and, and he doesn't take any shit. There's actually some really well steered scenes in this. There's some good point of view shots where the cult are watching their cabin. So it's like their point of view towards the cabin. There's some good night footage. I like that. Lots of filming outdoors. 
there's a good tense scene where someone puts a snake in the fridge and it attacks Starsky. What makes it especially suspenseful is that there is such thing as cults. They are a real thing and people do go missing a lot more than the media tell you about. Hey Phil, there are such things as witches. You just need to walk round Newcastle on a night when the pubs are open. You say loads of the buggers there. <laughs> I like it when a show suddenly does a, like a spooky episode that they wouldn't normally do, like against type. So you get a lot of different TV shows that do a, like a horror story. And it kind of takes audience by surprise because they're expecting this standard detective story. And it like suddenly throws a curveball at the audience. Every time I see David Soul in these type of stories, I automatically think of him in Slam's Lot. He was great in that. There's a great um, sacrifice scene where the, the cults got this like bonfire and they're going to sacrifice this girl that they've got for hostage. And that's what they're doing. They're, they're going to different places, kidnapping like a girl. And they say, if you, if you stop us, we'll kill her. Then they sacrifice the victim and then they move on. So that's why the, the town were against Asky and Utch. The ending's a little bit convenient where... Our two heroes get saved in the nick of time by the police because the sheriffs uh, told them what's going on. But overall I thought this was like a really suspenseful episode. It's like weird, there's not much to the story really. But it's suspenseful and it's also fun seeing Starsky and Nutch being a little bit camp in the, the cabin. <laughs> like a gay couple. So out of 10 I'd probably give this one 9. 9 out of 10. That was really good. But the you think Bones are doing like it? Top marks, Phil. Get another one reviewed. Okay, everybody, bye. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Bye. Happened to be a virgin in these woods. It's not funny. What are we going to have for dinner? A month the is doorstep Down the road